Hey, do you guys know about the hottest new co-op wall player shooter, Red World War 2? It's free to play with over 400 heroes. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so, b b before I before I, I start this stream properly, I, I want to emphasize, I got an email recently from Stream Elements, uh, which is why I use instead of Streamlabs, because Streamlabs is dog shit and has been for years. And it was about uh, doing a sponsored stream and I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. And then I clicked on it and it was Red Shadow Legends. And my interest immediately went from, that's interesting, to I'm never going to do this. Uh, and then I, I took a look at the uh, the requirements for it. And it was stuff that I... <sighs> I mean, the thing is, it, it, it's, it's not like a, an insignificant amount of money. It's not like a huge amount of money either. It's not much, but the requirements are to get at least five people to or five new people to uh to reach level 10 and i also have to stream for at least two hours and i need to stream with overlays for at least four hours and i need to do all of the generic shout outs that everybody does about how the game is and looks amazing and the gameplay is simple and blah 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 and i read all that and i was like eh, okay and then i generated the uh like a spreadsheet thing that that gives me more information about what to do <laughs> and one of the things on it was it is it says like tips before like you start playing or tips like as you start playing and it starts out with okay go through the hero list and say which ones you like and it's like okay well how am i supposed to know if i haven't played yet so i guess you're just supposed to go through it and just say okay this one looks cool uh and then the next thing that it's that it said was make sure you put emphasis on the shards opening system and i looked at that and went ha no i'm not promoting micro uh, i'm not promoting fucking loot boxes fuck off and then i immediately closed it so yeah uh <laughs> That was that was fun. I refuse to even touch fucking gacha mechanics, let alone promote that to people. That's fucking despicable. Now that I think about it, the money that Raid has to throw around and promote like and sponsor as many people as they do, it makes sense to me now why they have that money and I never thought about it before and the fact that they're literally paying people with money that they've made from psychological manipulation really sits bad with me and i refuse to do anything with that anyway raid world war 2 uh because of that sponsorship it made me think about raid again so i actually pre-ordered this back when it came out there's, there's one thing that really bothers me and that, that and that's that there's no way to turn off the um objective reminders i was checking this a while ago and i was i was looking at the sort of that's a safe house it's the camp or something but whatever We'll go through the story real, real quick since this this explains the, the the game basically. It's been a while since I've played it as well, so I don't actually remember how good this is. We'll see if I if my memory is right. Also, John Cleese, because I don't know why John Cleese is here. We need drastic measures. Thank you. Attack the Reich any way we can. In short, set Europe ablaze, as it were. Our target. Why is he slapping it? Hitler, that short ass crowd, this nasty nuts. I'm a hundred percent sure they would have done more with Hitler if this game actually had updates, but they didn't, so that's kind of a shame. Great. I'm glad you can read it the sorrow as well, because I I wanted to read the sorrow for one reason. There's one prompt that is really fucking funny, and I remember uh, when I was playing the beta with a friend, we did the tutorial, and this one bit of dialogue made us fucking laugh. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's still sort of just payday too, but... Not. Hold B to grab the cops. There's no body bags in this game. Isn't that cool? Self isn't really a big thing in this anyway, so I don't really get... It's not really a huge deal, but... Yeah, so... Interacting with ammo is how you pick it up, which is kind of weird, but it works, I guess. There's a lock picking minigame as well. And that's that. and Instead of just hold B or whatever, hold F, whatever. And this is on a save file that I've I have I've had since the game came out, and I haven't really played it much. So this golden garand is one of the special edition Does things, I think. I would that is a pre-order, but I don't actually remember what the pre-order bonuses were. Oh, oh, oh. It's paid it too, but not. <laughs> the simplest way to explain it. Oh, there it is. T to activate Warcry. Where is it? Oh, 
Get the, the objective. Use your wall crate to kill Nazis. Ah, uh, what an objective. Medical supplies. I'll just. That's healing. That's how that's done. Radio. Basically, this is how you play online, except I'm not going to be doing that because there's nobody who plays this again. So this is the card table, I think. I don't think these work in offline either. Okay, this one should be the character table or something. Yeah, and also where you can change clothes as well. Uh, weapon table, I think. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. Oh, that's where you do skills. Yeah, okay. And then that's the gold table, I think, or gold thing. Yeah. Is there a... There's nothing there. Oh, is that all? Is that everything? Oh, that's everything, I guess. Okay. Oh, well, this is one. Oh, no, this is the mission table. Yeah. Map table, whatever. So basically, they decided to make the menu an interactive room instead, which... Eh, fair enough. I... I don't hate the idea, I just also don't really like it. Dog tags, yeah. Because you have to load into this every single time you want to do something, which is... Mm. Not awful, not great. They could have just done a normal menu. That explained basically nothing, it was just... You can crouch, you can stab people in the butt, you can move bodies, you can shoot them, you can activate your war cry to shoot Nazis. Okay, great, that's literally just run the menu now. So there's a lot to like, I think there's like a lot to go over just in this one area alone. There's also a comic. I don't know if this was a special edition thing either or not. There's a toilet. Neat. So, okay. So you have, I'm not entirely sure about this system either. So yeah, uh, you have five character slots. Um, and so uh, the easiest way to explain how this works, explain how this works is just to create a new, a new class, really, a new character. So you have the four different classes, which um, have a character assigned to them, but you can also just choose a different character manually if you want to. But the classes aren't locked, so you can have four people all with the same class, but the characters are locked, so you can only have one person as each character, which I think is a nice way around a nice way around having characters that are specialised, but you can still pick a certain class and a certain specific character if you want to. That being said, I don't know how useful each of these necessarily are. Let's just go through them actually, because I... Also, this bugs out because I was checking this. See, so yeah, I'm not necessarily sure which one of these is actually probably the best. Also, I've noticed that these stats are weirdly wrong as well because I was I was going through this uh, like a couple hours ago just to make sure the game was was working properly, and for some reason it's displaying the stats from the ones I've already got a level ten instead of the default stats. So I'm I'm pretty sure from what I remember because it was briefly working. Assault has the highest health but lowest speed and stamina. Demolitions has the second highest health, but also lowest speed and stamina. Recon has, I think, the lowest health, but highest speed and stamina, and Insurgent has the in-between, basically. But then they also have the war cries, which, are, which go from useless to not useless. So... So Recon literally just gets what, aim, aim hacks, and everybody does more damage, which... I guess it's probably more useful on high difficulties. Assault just straight up can shoot more and heals everyone. I don't see how that isn't useful. Uh, demolitions get cluster grenades and extra throwables, but also everybody gains resistance to damage, which again just sounds useful. And then insurgent, I think. I, I think when it says become much harder, become much harder, I think that just means you get dodge. Is all that means. I think that's literally just dodge from payday 2. I think you just get like a dodge percentage and that's all that is. And it also increases movement speed, which is... There's the objective reminder sound effect. You can't turn that off for some reason. I don't know why. This sounds kind of useless to me. Like you get dodge and everybody moves faster. Yeah. I would prefer just to have extra health or resistance, resistance to damage. Maybe it's useful, maybe it isn't. I don't know. So basically what that means is assault and demolitions are probably the best classes to, to play. Also there's the different weapons that they get as well. We'll, we'll just go through because there's, there's like a lot to fucking go over before we even actually start playing the game here. So there's a bunch of different weapons. Most of these are shared between each class. There's cosmetics, except there are upgrades. These upgrades are done by... Why does it say I've not... Huh? Challenge completed, reach level 15. 
I am level 59. <laughs> I'm assuming that number is my level, which is 16. Yeah, what? Okay, the game's buggy. Uh, <laughs> like I said, the game isn't perfect. There's like, it, it barely like received any updates after it was released. So I'm not sure why that says I'm not the right level and it's locked, even though I've clearly unlocked it. Uh, yeah, you can see that gives like different cosmetic upgrades and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And there's challenges for every weapon. Some of them are kind of dog shit, some of them aren't. This is definitely a special edition thing. I know that. And then there's the regular one, which doesn't share the same upgrades because... Eh. A few things. First of all, throwables and melees. Melee has its own slot as it as like a unique weapon type, which is interesting, but it also still works the same as in Payday 2. So you can charge it like that, but it also, I mean, at least you don't have to hold the button constantly. I think you can sprint with it as well. Yeah, you can sprint with it as well, which is good. Uh, but the pro the thing is, they all have the same stats. So really what you're picking is how it looks, which is I guess isn't really a bad thing because it is kind of dog shit that in Payday 2 it's like there's only a few weapons that are really viable and the rest of them are just kind of, you can use them if you want, but they're not really going to be as good as say the Katana or the Ice Pick. You would rather just be using those in 99% of situations. So I guess this is okay, I'm fine with this, it's just I also wish them were some like stat differences. Speaking of throwables, they have noticeable stats. Also, this is the one of the only two things you can use for stealth. Does it have a gacha mechanic? Unfortunately it doesn't. Uh otherwise I would be playing this constantly. But yeah, for the grenades they have different stats, like like I was saying. I don't know why the coin has a diameter of three thousand. Maybe that's like the range at which it Les guards to it. I think the Mills grenade was the last grenade they added. I think the seal hand grenade was the um, second grenade they added. So when the game came out, it was just the concrete grenade, decoy coin, and free for free. Um, which, you know, those by themselves kind of have a nice balance of you can throw it further, it does a bit less damage and it has a bit of a bigger radius. But then the Mills grenade exists, which has, which is the same damage but a higher radius and like slightly less throwing distance and the free for free grenade and the seal hand grenade are literally the same but you can throw this further mm. not sure about that there's some like slight weirdness with this i'm sure they would have like figured this out if they had more time to update it. but again like they updated it for maybe like a few months they added one new raid into the game and that was it and then they just dropped whole development for it because Nobody gave a shit. At its core, I think this might possibly be a better game than Payday 2 was at release, but I never played Payday 2 at release, so I don't know. At the very least, like, the game is fun. Like, I, I had fun with it when it came out, which is, you know, more than Payday 2 was at release. It was just kind of grindy. Summer Shotgun, I think that was later as well. I don't like that magazine. Some of, some of these upgrades are kind of, like, highly questionable and upset me a little bit. Like, the Garen, what, it gets a mech. How does that even work, is my question. Does that actually change it so that you insert a magazine instead of the clip, or are you still inserting a clip because that wouldn't make sense? I'm not going to think about it, because that... But yeah, you can see there's the upgrades as well. You can toggle on and off just like Head of the Heist. Uh, that's kind of like standard issue World War II Thompson, and then upgrades turn it more into other Thompson. There's, there's some nice nice like stuff here. Some Mac 2 turns into... I, I want to say that's actually a different Mac of Sten, the wooden furniture on that. I'm pretty sure it's from a different Mac of Sten. Anyway, point, yeah, you get, the, you get the point. There's upgrades that change how stuff looks and it gets better and blah, blah, blah. MP38, Ithaca, Sterling, SCG44. This kind of makes me... I didn't think about this until as I was going through the weapon list earlier. This kind of makes me go, because uh, SCG44, it was introduce in 44. So when is this game set exactly? Because presumably it will be set in sort of the last year of the war then, if the SG44 is here. Uh, and maybe, maybe they just weren't thinking too much about it. I'm, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold it too much again. So actually, let's do Sniper next, because <laughs> you have, you have multiple options with snipers. You have the cosmetics and you have the scope. And the scopes might be good. I don't know. I don't think I ever use them when I was playing. Oh yeah, the world world, sorry. This is the other thing that you can use for self. I never actually unlocked this. Yeah, level 19. Um, 
because this came out with one of the later updates and I kind of stopped playing it by then. I don't actually know if you can get the bloody machete anymore either because I know this was um, a Halloween event thing back like the Halloween the game came out. I don't know if you can still get it anymore. It says it can earn it as mission rewards, so maybe you can. I would hope that nothing's kind of like locked permanently, given that the game isn't being updated. <laughs> you, I, you know, I would hope. I would hope that the game isn't locking things permanently. But yeah, you can see that it's like all the same, same-ish weapons, but there's the bar as well. Got the double penetration 28. So demolition I think is mostly shotguns. I don't know actually, I've not actually played demolition. Bar and M12. Laurel. So you can see that like they all get sort of the same weapons but it's in a different order is basically how it works. It's kind of a case of what weapons do you want access to earlier and then what weapons do you want access to later because that's yeah that's a Springfield which the sniper already had. But yeah also bef before I go any further before we actually play the game and actually do stuff there's stupid amount of customizers, or stupid amount, stupid amount for when the game came out I guess. It would probably be in a lot more if the game kept getting updates, but there is just a lot of customization here. Like, it feels like they were sort of building this game up to be focused around the customization and the fact that there is so much stuff you can spend gold on slightly makes me worried that maybe at one point they were planning on um, making gold something you could purchase but they never did that, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> this is all led by playing the game. Also, this golden bomb looks like crap. So these are like the actual base upgrades. You've got a luxury table and a, there's a classic toilet and there's a luxury toilet. What makes this classic and what makes this luxury? It's got engravings on it. There's the rusty bomb. There's a golden bomb. There's a special edition bomb, which probably looks the best out of all of them, to be honest. Character table, luxury table, controls table, Luxury table. The game needs more unique ways of acquiring and getting items. Hmm, like, for example, some kind of gacha mechanic. Uh, <laughs> gold framed artworks. Wooden mission desk or a luxury desk. Beginner card table. Luxury card table. A rug. A broken piano. A less broken. It's still a broken piano. She's got candles on it. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, okay. Yeah, sure. Who the fuck is this guy? There's something written on the back of it, but it's too low quality to read. DIY bench. Armorer's bench. Radio only goes up to... Let me guess, it goes up to 11. This one goes up to... Yeah, okay. So, there's like upgrades there, which make things look different, and then you've got all this stuff, and how you charm cards in offline mode. The radio seems to be offline. Yeah, because I'm playing offline. I think Assault is probably the one that makes the most sense to, to play out of everything. Uh, I guess I could create a new, a new thing and just do the stream with a new thing so we can get a feel for the progression. So yeah, each profile starts at level one regardless of what your current um, level is as well. So even though this one is assault level 10, this one is assault level one. So I'm not sure how I feel about this system overall. Oh, the skills, the skill proficiencies, yeah. So this is the, the thing. You can only pick some of these, I think. Uh, no, the max level isn't 10. The max level is 40, I think. Yeah, it goes up to 40. But yeah, so for each level, you can pick one of these three uh, upgrades. And some of these, I guess some of these are probably kind of useless and some of these probably kind of make sense. Uh, you can respec, I think, but it also costs gold. So gold ends up being the thing that you spend 10 gold to retrain. I don't know if that's because I'm level 10. I don't, I don't know if that goes up the higher level you are, but... Yeah, the, the cost to respec isn't that high. Literally, the only things you can sp spend gold on are upgrading the this place and clubs that's it so it's not really a huge deal is this one switching into retro mod no but i think there is actually a, a blc for this uh so yeah gold is acquired by doing the heist and by doing the bonus missions that you can unlock so hopefully i'll get one of those but we'll see it's not like you like there's not that much content in this game anyway so it probably wouldn't take that long to grind everything up actually maybe it would i don't <laughs> i haven't played this much so i'm not sure the missions this is all of them. <laughs> These are all the ones that they ever added. And apparently I've done all of them on normal, I believe is what that means. Yeah, I've done all of them on normal and then very hard as... Oh, they actually have progression. And then there's also the operations, which are multi-mission long... They're basically multi day heists is what they are. It's like even better than Xbox 360 as well, yeah. So Clear Skies... I've done both... I've, well, I really played everything this game has to offer, huh? It doesn't actually say how many days there are for this, or how many missions there are for this. I'm pretty sure the missions for these are basically just the uh, regular raids, but in, like, a specific order anyway. Maybe a little bit different, but... I guess I'll just go through them in order then. Uh, so Odin's Fall. 
this was... So I believe this was the only one they had back when the bear was running, and it's a good one. I'll give it that. Oh, cool, I can chat. Cool. I don't know why I can chat because I'm playing offline. So yeah, this, this, is, this is a good... This was a good introduction to the, to the, to the game. In my opinion, because when when me and my friend played this, we both went, "Holy shit, this is fucking great!" And then I pre-ordered it, and they never updated it. <laughs> I'm sad. Uh, well, we'll see if it's actually good or not. I just remember having fun with this and thinking it was like over the top, kind of Nazi killing fun, and that was just it was what the game was, and it was fun. And I I'm sad. Oh, they talk. Our first challenge. I, I don't know. Look around. Nowhere is impregnable. Oh yeah, there's actually self as well, so sort of self, and it works differently to pin it too. Except it looks kind of similar. Actually, that UI is a lot better. That's a little way cleaner. Does it show up when you're not looking at them as well? Uh, I don't know. There's no pages though. I'm pretty sure. Well. Okay, no, so it doesn't show you when you're not looking at them, which I guess makes sense. That is a long fucking reload. Uh, <laughs> wow, that is an iron sight. Holy shit. God. <laughs> I do not remember what to do for this. Yeah, the British guy's voice lines are actually just awful. Uh, but I can't see shit with that. Holy fuck. Okay. I'm pretty sure you do have to get up there. But yeah, so that's basically how the health and ammo stuff works, is just crates scattered around with stuff in it. I think you're supposed to get up there. Am I doing this wrong? I am doing this wrong. <laughs> God, maybe doing this with a level one character was not a good idea, because this can only sprint for like a few seconds. Where the fuck is the bunker? Oh, well, there's a walk room. It might be in a different place each time, actually, which would make sense. Uh, yeah, so there's a health and ammo, and you can see on the bottom there's a health bar with nothing else. Can I just... Uh, yeah, I guess this kind of would be make more sense with four people, because then you could just, like, split off and have two people go this way, two people go that way, and then it'll be easier to find it. There we go. Eh, I'll just leave that for now. God, it's been so fucking long since I've played this. Oh. Ah, I see. Oh, and they give you a timer instead of just letting you guess. I don't remember how much health you get from from these big ones. Uh, just take it. Fuck it. Yeah. So there's grenades, ammo, and health supplies. And enemies drop. I think enemies can drop all of them, but it's kind of just random while they drop. Yeah. There's health there, which I shouldn't have picked up because I was on full health. I don't know why I did that. Really do not like these irons. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that works. All right, next bit. And then, yeah, she can do these as well. Why is the camera so weird? Oh, this is probably using like the um, LMG sort of bipod system from Peta 2 is probably what it is, but like modified a bit. And it's got another heat bar. I need to stop doing that because I'm being shot from somewhere. Oh yeah, and that's what you need the crowbars for, isn't it? These for it. So yeah. I mean, I'm 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 having fun so far, which is you know a good sign, <laughs> even if I'm struggling to remember exactly what to do and how this game works. I'm just going back to me a little bit. It's been like four years, Jesus Christ. I just, yeah, it just occurred to me, it's been like four years since I last played this, holy shit. Oh yeah, there's also still a, a melee button, even though there is also a dedicated melee thingy as well. I probably shouldn't stand there. <laughs> I mean, already this is being uh, more extravagant than Several heists in Pyrrha too. It's definitely bigger than all of the heists that were in the game at launch. Anyway, am I? I'm supposed to be down there. I what? Oh yeah, I can get yeah. Why am I holding tab? I don't know. This, it gives like a slightly more information. 
Christmas heist was pretty. Which one? Vosik gas. Oh, uh, uh, then defend that, yeah. Ooh. Now I get to actually use the LMG properly. This feels less effective than just shooting them, I'll be honest. What? Okay. Uh, and they actually have the characters that actually they're having dialogue instead of just omnipotent Ben saying everything all the time. Because, I mean, I guess they could have done that here and just had Control do it or something, or the woman. Sorry, I say Control, it's just John Cleese. It's literally just John Cleese playing John Cleese, that's all it is. Oh yeah, and then there's these dog tags that you can find as well, there's like 30 in each level. Oh god, 34, yeah. I probably missed a few. Oh yeah, there's also loot, which adds up to make gold. But then there's also the missions where you just steal a book ton of gold. Yeah, so there's like incentives to look around and try and actually find stuff, basically. Oh, look, and it's like, cool. I forget what you get for that. I think you get different uh, rewards for that, depending on how many you find. And, uh, Ag Void, but at least it somewhat doesn't look awful. Like, like it overkills The Walking Dead they did this, but it was just like a shirt of just a black wall with nothing like even burning into it, I don't think. Like, uh, I think it sort of works here. I, I, I don't think it's necessarily the best spawn point, but uh, holy shit, why are there so many people? Oh yeah, grenades are like actually things as well. You can hold them like an actual weapon and cook them and actually do stuff with them. And he can sit down like that. Which is neat. They gave actual mechanics to things that appeared to didn't put actual mechanics to and were just kind of afterthoughts like melee and grenades. Something I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see uh, either is, because um, I'm not sure if the situation is going to come up or not, uh, but if, if vehicles get stuck, uh, if, vehicle, if vehicles get stuck for too long, rather, um, you get an option to respawn them, which is good, and it will sort of repos reposition the vehicle and try and put it in a place where it, it hopefully isn't stuck. So, you know, nice nice car engine improvements that Peda 2 could have used a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, looking back at it now, like, I can see this isn't super, like, interesting or necessarily unique, but... You know, back when, <laughs> back when it was announced and the, uh, the, uh, beta came out and I was playing this with a friend, like, all we could think was, holy shit, a World War II game where you just fucking shoot Nazis and just fuck around. This is, there, there are not enough games like this. This is cool. And to this day, there still aren't many games where you just shoot Nazis with friends. Why? Give us more Nazi shooting games, please. Give us more World War II Nazi shooting games. I want them. Uh, what am I doing? That's performance issues. That's kind of boring. <laughs> I might have to turn plus GPU on, maybe? Uh, I'll try that. Plus GPU. Oh, there we go. British man is being British. There you go. That's like his entire personality. It's just he's British. That's it. I, I was considering like installing some mods to see if like that would improve the game or not, but I wasn't sure what mods would necessarily be needed. I know there was one that went that tried to improve performance, but I don't. Oh right, it was there. I just missed the interaction. Whoops, that was my fault. Holy shit, you throw those far. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Bro, that's fucking real far, holy shit. Uh, can I hit that one? Yeah. Yeah, the skills that reduce the uh, ready time for weapons are gonna be necessary, I think, because that feels like a really long... Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is red, don't worry about it. <laughs> I 
I'd like to see Payday 2 animate something like this. They won't. Holy shit. <laughs> And of course, now the whole place is blowing up because, you know, why not? Sort of exploding. Slightly exploding. That's not how I remember this ending. Maybe... Maybe I'm misremembering it a little bit. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so I think... What that's shown to me is that the game uh, inexplicably has performance issues. Oh, these! Oh. <laughs> I, I will never forget the first time I saw that. It's just, just fucking Hitler. Just having a tantrum. Because, you know, why not? So that leveled me a few times. Uh, what do I actually want? Okay, yeah, so it costs four gold to free trick. Okay, yeah, so it's based on your current level then, is what it is. Um, which I guess means it'll cost 40 gold at level whatever. Oh, there's the bar. Yeah, these are all like really, really tight apertures. Huh. Wait, I'll, I'll use the bar. So I want to very, very quickly uh, quit the game. I'm going to uh, install that mod that hopefully increases performance and then we'll see what happens after that. Oh, you, you want to see something cool while I'm waiting for that to download as well. I noticed this when I was looking at the uh, the store page. On the page, on the thing for the soundtrack, uh, it says, please note the Raidable Bot 2 uh, official soundtrack will be placed in your world, Raid World War 2 directory. Uh, theme, theme apps common, Payday 2, Payday 2 the soundtrack. Can confirm that is not where it goes. <laughs> it goes in the, the Raid directory, not in not in the Payday 2 folder. So I think they accidentally copied and pasted the wrong thing there. While I'm while I'm looking at this, there's a few, a few mods linked here that I'm kind of curious about. Autofire sound fix. You still need autofire sound fix for Red Bull War 2. God, I don't know how the autofire like sound has been bugged for so long. It seems like a really easy fix, but they just haven't fixed it. And let's just have a look at the, the mods that are available for, for Red right now. I... I, I mean, I, I, I know where this comes from, regretfully. I, I, I don't want to explain the context because I think this is better without the context. Yeah, uh, Mod Workshop will never will never cease to amaze me. The only thing here that's like actually probably useful. Better Odin's Fall Parallax maps. Oh, they removed details. What a shame. That's the optimization pack that's being downloaded. Thanks, Mega. <laughs> I don't know why it's on Mega. Larger dog tags, that might be useful because they are fucking tiny and you can barely fucking see them. Yeah, I don't know how many. Uh, I don't think many of these are probably going to be useful. Oh, pick up ammo. Mm. Mm, of course, that's an Oxy movie one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who else I thought that would be from. Free retrain. That's pro to be honest, that's pro that probably doesn't even break the game that much, to be honest. I might get that just so I can mess around a bit more. Because, like, spending gold to retrain, uh, like, it's not even that much, isn't it? I think I'll, I'll download that. Carrie Sacker. Wait, Ca Carrie Sacker was here. Oh, holding several AA shells at once. Cool, it's Carrie Sacker. Uh, enhanced hit markers, red. Neat. I don't really care. I to be honest, I think the hit markers that were there were already, like, pretty okay. They, they seemed more visible and seemed more informative than Pedo 2s because they had like a different shape when you killed someone, which was nice. Weapons attachments customized it? Is that just like you pick different ones? Because that is something that, oh my god, what the fuck am I looking at? Oh right, that's all of the weapon groups. And they use the same like weapon naming scheme as Pedo 2 does. Where it's weapon FPS and then free, a free letter abbreviation for the weapon type. Which means that the assault rifles are ass. Cool. Oh, they even called the SCG-44 the MP-44 there, which is kind of, kind of funny. Because they are basically the same thing, the SCG-44 and the MP-44. Well, then it occurred to me the magazines weren't gold. Yeah. Huh. Red Hood, UI customizer. Of course, there's going to be Hood mods because there's Hood mods for... And it says, well, I think the Hood for Red is like overall much sort of cleaner to look at than than Pedis users. Pedis users is just fucking huge and covers up like 75% of the screen or something. I don't know how much it covers up, but it covers up a lot. Oh, wait, hold on. Where, where is it? Uh, that just reminded me. Hood. Oh, where is it? Is it this? <laughs> yeah, you already know exactly what it is. Minimalist Hood Pro, that's it. Oh. 
yeah the best part is pretty much every uh pretty much every part of this that can actually represent something in the game does actually function like i'm pretty sure the uh the health bars or every single health bar does actually show how much health you have all of the ammo counters show how much ammo you have i'm assuming the armor there actually shows how much armor you have as well but yeah because the <laughs> the halo of fucking armor at the top the shield at the top is broken yeah you are hurt to cover yeah suit is on zero yeah so the armor's currently broken so they all show zero armor oh and the hood the doom hood as well i don't know why this was made but it's fucking incredible i'm kind of sad that the um the mirror on the left doesn't actually show what's behind you that might be a bit too performance intensive though i'm not sure depending on how the game renders stuff was fucking hood is this done? This is done. How do I... What? Import some mega? The fuck's an ephemeral... ephemeral set? What the fuck? Is that just a private session? Okay. Import? I... I just want to fucking download this. I... Uh... Send a download. Okay. Right, there we go. Jesus Christ. Why does anybody use Mega? It's so bad. Make me create a fucking ethereal account just to download something. I know that's not what it said, but they might as well have done instead of just calling it anonymous or whatever. Why even make him make an account to do it to him? Just... Oh, it has a compass. Why does it have a compass? I'm not sure what the XP bar represents. Oh, what the food bar represents. Oh, the food is probably stamina, isn't it? So what's it? XP bar might- oh your actual XP- oh it's actually just an XP bar yeah level 100 it's actually just an XP bar that's what it is holy shit what is that in the bottom there's a hostage icon there and I think that's cable ties and then I don't know what that one is I don't know what this hood's from at the bottom down here with the hostage icons do I even want to- is this gonna get me banned okay so Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna ask where that's from. It's just from anime Twitch. Don't ban me. Thank you. Assets, mono raids. Drop you in there. God, that th this was such a fucking nightmare to do. <laughs> it shouldn't have been. Oh yeah, this is the intro as well. If it wants to load. I think this might have been one of the um trailers actually using one of the trailers yeah i'm pretty sure this was one of the trailers uh before the game came out definitely makes the game look more exciting than it actually is but that being said the game's still fun i think yeah look gold trailer 1080p game 480p honestly the, this looks so much better than the actual game does unfortunately Again. BLT mods. Oh, this is the beard lib thing. Oh wait, yeah, I've already completed the challenge. Oh fuck, yeah, my bad. Yeah, if you've done the challenges, you'd have to do them again. I'm stupid. I can just click on this and then click upgrade and then apply, apply 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 oh i remember this one's a pain in the ass isn't it oh uh, if this is the one i think it is this one's actually kind of a pain find shells for the aa gun again bro right <laughs> it's so fucking far uh okay and we're in lads thank you so long british man yeah it's just yeah Activate walk right to kill the Nazis. <laughs> it's just a door. Thank you, British man. Uh, destroy. Oh, destroy the sky. Oh, right. I wasn't paying attention to the objective. Maybe it's a good thing I can't turn off objective reminders. Uh, no, because they never updated it before they got to that point. Ignite the flag. You don't interact with Hitler, but you see him after you finish every mission. This might be the one where there's the flame broker. There are a few dog tags in this room. Three dog tags in this room. Four dog tags in this room. Okay. Yo, handy worker. 
That, okay, no, no, no. That that animation where he jumped to the side was exactly from Pen Two. I swear to fucking God. Dog tags, uh, you get them and then you get bonus stuff if you get enough of them. I think. I think that's just kind of like the um the extra sort of cosmetic unlocks and stuff like that. You might get other stuff for it as well. I don't remember. Let's you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Am I actually underneath the rubble? Where? Am I thugs? Oh no no, I'm inside the bo okay, right. Yeah, the, I I did get a bomb drop straight on top of me. That was kind of my own fault. There's nothing in here, why did I open it? I don't know if the uh, flimper guy... Bombs. I swear he does. Maybe that's in one of the operations instead. Uh, I'm gonna have to move these all slowly as well, aren't I? Uh... Right, well, he is your, uh, your, your bag moving simulator. Well, I guess there's only four of them. Yeah, there's only four of them, so it's not too bad. Like, if you had four people, then this wouldn't really be too bad. Hey, real money to ignore the move. Oh boy! Microtransactions! Loot boxes! Red Shadow Legends. This is throwing me off because this is gold, but it it feels like it like the movement speed is the same sort of speed as carrying gold in Pedro 2, but you jump at full height. Like there's certain things that they did make an effort to change, and then there's other things where it's just kind of I guess it's too deep into the engine that they uh can't really be bothered. Some hefty rabbit. But yeah, I mean holy shit. It's huge shot war cry to kill the Nazis. Will always be my favourite prompt in any video game. Why are there so many? Holy shit. Okay, use your walkway to kill the Nazis. It's time. It's time to use your walkway to kill the Nazis. Oh, they stack! Holy shit, they stack! Whoa, that's. I, I shouldn't be amazed by that. Sniper. 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 Yeah, I want to have the pure experience for now before I go around fucking the game up to make it actually better. Outside of the performance mod, obviously, because that's kind of probably necessary. Uh... <laughs> yeah, those barrels are literally the same ones from Pedity, just retextured. Yeah. And now I don't have to fuck around with this anymore. So you don't actually have to carry it that far, it's just by without four people, you know, this is kind of a pain, but with four people you can just carry it here and then you're done, basically. Like, it, the game was very much designed for four people, it's just... nobody plays it. Uh, where am I going? Over there? Yeah, okay. Sure, why not? Uh, right, we're just gonna ignore that. Good. Hmm. That's a tree. That's a big tree. I'm not sure if the textures on that are so weird because of the mod or if just, that's just because they're actually bad or not. I'm just going to blend the mod. Uh, can I get through here? Nope. Alright, gold then. Let's just actually take it. And then go carry that for the last eight years. Ugh. Gonna make the ship four times! Let's go! Oh wait, is that the mot? Oh shit, yeah, the- I forgot about the mortar guys. So there's certain guys with like binoculars who'll hold down flares and then mortars drop, which is neat. But I don't know where they- I think that's one of them. Oh yeah, and you can also destroy the flare, I think. Well, uh, I guess I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, you can aim all down as well. Is that... that sounds like... yeah, okay, let's see that. Yeah. And then you can extinguish it, like that. Why are there like... why is it just a hydra of people over there? Why do I have... there we go. See ya. That went too far, whoops. There we go. This is the red stream. Yeah, you'll promise a red stream. Probably. At some point. Maybe. Look at these gra- Whoa. I know, these graphics are incredible. There's another four- there's another four heroes. 
with four different classes to play, over 20 different weapons and more being added with every update. Man, they're emerging from fucking heavens, holy shit. Can I get past these? Uh, yeah. But in New World Wars every month. This would have taken so much less time. Sprint the propeller, yes? Where's the propeller? There it is. This would have taken so much less time if I had four people. Oh. Time to go now. Then let's get out of here at once. Yeah, don't worry, let's leave. Come on, let's go. I'm pretty sure that plane only had two seats. Oh, here we go. These videos are by far the best bit of the game. Oh wow, an experience bonus, holy shit. You're almost there. Oh man. Got a token around with level 5 proficiencies. Level 6 proficiencies. Yeah. War cry to kill more Nazis. So yeah, war cry to kill more Nazis. That's what the game is all about. Do I have anything? Oh yeah, token rev. Equip. Upgrade. Boop. 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 Neat. I don't get why they, they don't just start like upgraded already and you have to like go through and click on them to manually apply the upgrades but yeah game's only like four pounds uh if I, I mean the dlc only gives you like i think it gives you extra gold and it gives you this bomb and the golden errand and this suit <laughs> this jacket <laughs> bless black friday deals yeah you don't really get like anything super meaningful with it so like yeah you just get some extra extra fun little fun little goodies and the double penetration 28 that's what i'm that's what i'm looking forward to uh amateur oh this is the one with the bridge that blows up so it's shown by detonating explosives on the edge yeah no that's the one where you blow up with the bridge yeah one of these was like one that i played a lot it might have been strong point yeah the castle yeah that was strong point i'm going to quickly change over to this one actually yeah so i'll i'll play on the side level one just so i like i've i've played through enough of this now to the point where um I feel like the the sort of core sort of gameplay loop has been established, and I can just play on the high level character now. I know, Ryan. Get hmm. out of here. Oh, it does give you an indicator of when someone's suspicious of you. Okay, reverse train heist. Yeah. Nope. nope. Bingo. His entire character trait is he's British. That's it. Is this it? Okay. Lower the hook over the wagon. This is actually kind of selfable. More things to do. Good. No time to rest. Cables must be secured to wagon roof. Okay. Just slide under the wagon. Just slide under the wagon. Oh, uh, they just appeared on me. Cool. Well done, we're clear. Wagon's free. You think we are? And then I guess that's just being moved. Oh yeah, and they actually use the fingers as well. Oops. The Garand. Use your war cry to kill the Nazis. <laughs> Again, I can't say like Pedity does anything remotely like this. Like that's kind of the uh the the theme for most of the things in this. It's kinda of like it's it's vaguely painted too, like it's it's sort of the same engine and the gameplay is kind of like a bit similar, but the actual like mission designs are unique and kind of their own thing. And really take advantage of the World War II thing. But yeah, they did, I mean, I mean, they kind of did a mixed bag, didn't they? Because they did Golden Grim, which is, eh, I mean, Golden Grim's fine. I don't really hear it. It's just there's too many bags in it. They did Bomb Dockyard and Bomb Forest, which is, you know, debatable whether or not that's a good thing or not. Yeah, Dockyard is good. Like, but Forest was kind of them trying something different for the game. Um, and it didn't work. And I think they, they learned from that and there's nothing like that in this game. Probably because they realised 
Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, C4, not C4, Dynamite, sorry, because this is fucking World War II. C4 didn't exist, what am I talking about? It functions as C4 though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure doing this heist in self, you can do it up until you blow up that wall and then it goes loud anywhere. I, I don't think there's like any heist in this game, uh, heist ride, whatever, mission that you can do in this game that is truly selfable. Maybe, actually, there's the one where you have to take out Nazis in like a forest and they're in various camps scattered throughout the forest. That one might be doable in self if you actually like tried. Cool car. Well, that's a lot of smoke. Uh, yeah, Diamond Heist is only doable until you do the vault, yeah. So it's... Uh, that's why I think it's more kind of paid to the heist than paid to, because, like, game design-wise... Uh, you can blow this up, can't you? I swear you can get into here somehow. There's no kind of, like, in-depth weapon customization or anything like that. The missions aren't properly selfable, like in paid to, so... It, it, to me, it just feels a lot more paid to the heist, but obviously most people who... Oh, that's a nice animation on that. Uh, but obviously most people who play Payday 2 don't know anything about Payday the Heist, so they wouldn't know. So to them it's just weird Payday 2, when it's more comparable to Payday the Heist in my opinion. Uh, that Oh, that goes like nowhere, okay, yeah. Well that's the difference in grenade radius, or grenade throwing range. Yeah, this game costs like, what, like £30 when it came out? <laughs> Absolutely not worth it for that price. Uh, 40 maybe? Maybe it was more than that, yeah. Maybe it was 40. And I pre-ordered it so it was like definitely 40, I think. Yeah, that was not a smart idea. <laughs> oh, the ping. I'm not sure if these were actually the animations that they used for the Garand and Pitta too. I'm not sure if they reused these animations or not. That looks kind of the same, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure they reuse just the exact same animations and stuff for it, but I don't know. I don't think they use the same model because they had to add their own attachments to it for better too, didn't they? But the animations look kind of similar. Oh yeah, there you go. There's there's a guy that's been decapitated. There you go. That guy's head came off. There you go. That guy's head came off. Uh, I didn't realise it was so cheap right now though. I mean, I guess it makes sense because the game's like completely fucking dead, but... Um... Tickety-boo. Tickety boo That signaled the driver text. I wonder if that's directly from... It is too, from Hoxton Breakout. Like, there's no reason not to reuse it. It saves them having to, like, write their own strings, but... Like, there's a lot of stuff where it's kind of fun to, like, go... Oh, that's from Pita 2, or that's probably from Pita 2, but, like, slightly repurposed. Oh, yeah, and there's, like, noticeable inaccuracy when you're moving as well. Just, like, in Head of the Heist as well. Whereas in Pita 2, like, there's not really any inaccuracy in Pita 2. There's just kind of, like, the general spread and that's, like, it. Which is weird, because there's, there's that one mastermind skill that decreases inaccurate, uh, decreases uh, movement inaccuracy, isn't there? But I've never noticed any in game, so... Oh shit, you actually have to lead it. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. One more. There we go. Mm. I'm just gonna keep shooting them down. Why is there so many now that I'm done? 
Oh, I need to wait for them to leave as well. Yeah, this one isn't like particularly great. Uh, it's just like a lot of downtime and waiting for the objectives. Is that it? I return to your wagon this Oh, yeah, that's it. Huh. Okay, that's actually not that bad then. Uh, that last bit is like kind of not very interesting, but the rest of it was fine, yeah. I was gonna say like I oh get another hit the scene. Oh, it's the same one. Wait, this is the same damage as the DMRs in Payday 2. 168. So I I don't really remember this one. I think I did this one like maybe once and then decided I never want to do it again, and I'm not sure why. The animations of the stagger are kinda weird. But yeah, I'm not totally convinced by him. Hmm. I don't know why I'm stealthing this. Like, I, I really don't have any reason to. All I can hear is German. Okay. He's dead. How are you? Is it just me, or does this seem like an Ooh. awful lot of Jerry? Well, that's fine. Okay, I'm that's fine. All right, sure. Just ignore the head. Just put it poking around the corner, friend. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's any reason to sell, sell this, but I want to do it anyway. Well, there goes that then. Uh, I wasn't sure if you would see that or not, but I guess he did. I nice to just open again. I like how he just fucking teleport. That's that's great. That's not what he said. Miss every single bullet. Nice. More crates. Nice. More dog tags. Nice. And now I can activate my wall crates and kill the Nazis. Oh, is that the tank? Oh, that's the tank. Right. Okay. What do I? What do I do? Uh, who dog tags? Who dog tags? Uh. Holy shit! There's so many here. Do I just shoot it? Like I. Uh, it's a fucking tank. I, uh, yeah, I don't feel comfortable about this. What is it doing? It's just sat here. Uh, I, I don't know what to do, it's just sat here. Oh, it still hasn't cooled down yet, what? Uh, that is marginally worrying. I need to heal, uh... Can I just throw grenades in it? I, I don't know. Uh... I feel like it's not going to do anything. Where'd the other grenade go? Well, the intel received thing is going up, so because it was too earlier. So I guess I'm doing this right somehow. Oh no, one got to the barricade. Oh right, I see. They're trying to get rid of the barricade, and that's why the tank can't move. Oh, I get it. Right, they're trying to get rid of that, and then once I guess gets gone they can move up okay well because i'm stood right in front of the tank it can't shoot me yeah do it fucking shoot i dare you do it fucking shoot i dare you <laughs> do it fucking shoot <laughs> can i jump on top of it No. Oh, I'm getting up somehow. I'm sort of sudden it. Okay, this works. I am commandeering this tank. You are mine now. I mean, they just fucking bombed their own tank. I feel like the tank should be dead now. Is this still over here? Yeah. So that only stops. That only cools down when you're actually on it, which is kind of stupid. But yeah, what's the big deal, huh? Gonna shoot? Do it, fucking shoot. Do it, fucking shoot. I dare you. Fucking shoot. 
fucking do it. Fucking shoot. Uh, is it any good? Uh, debatably, I, I think it's fun. Uh, I don't necessarily know about good. As you can see by uh, this tank, that's just kind of aiming at me. Buggy? Yes. I, if I, like The thing is, I honestly think if this game had more time to get updates, it would be better, but they just didn't give it updates, so that's another fucking thing. Where is it? Extinguish it. Okay. Why's the guy throwing that? I can't tell where he is. Yeah, you can mod it. I mean, <laughs> there's like no, very few mods for it, but I don't know if anybody's even like really tried modding it, because as far as I'm aware, not many people like really give a shit about red. What am I so Okay, sure, I'll, I'll stand up here. Uh, wait for him to calm down. Okay, so I think that's done now. Okay, so I guess that's done then. Yeah, there's there's mods for it. I just I I don't know how good a, good they are is the thing. I don't really know what they do. I was looking at them earlier. There were a few that seemed like maybe good, and I I downloaded like a couple of them, but uh, just to try and make the experience a bit more playable more than anything. <laughs> I, I mean, it's playable. Like I I enjoy it. It's just this, it, you know. It, it, it could do with more updates. Is there? What are you doing? Okay. Fuck. That was a lot of health I just lost. Uh. Oh. Oh, is this gonna be a different one? Please tell me it's gonna be a different one. I've seen this one as well. I've only seen two of these cutscenes, like repeatedly for some reason. Wow, it's a. Oh, holy shit, I got an SS jacket. Cool. Go put that on right now. <laughs> wow, look at that. SS jacket. Neat. Yeah, it's time to cosplay as a Nazi. Do I have enough gold for... No, I don't. I don't have enough gold for anything else. Straight up becoming a Nazi on stream. That one probably works as well, because it's the same colour scheme as the sort of stripes. Oh, this is a bit of one where I have to fucking move gold as well. Ugh. Like, it's not that bad. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it'll just be four bits of gold again, because the devs didn't seem to want to make you play bag moving. Well, this is an awful fucking start. Holy shit. Just immediately, what on earth? This is probably off one. <laughs> or something like that, very hard. Okay, if there's any mission where a sniper rifle will be useful, it's probably this one. But yeah, I, with all the smoke and how wide this is, I'm guessing this is probably the best place for, a, for an, an actual sniper rifle. Oh yeah, this is like the one song that like actually is somewhat memorable to me for some reason. I guess it just has like an actual melody to it and the rest is just kind of like war drums and strings and not really like a whole lot of melody like that's not so bad it's just they don't really try they don't really lend themselves to memorability really i feel the game it's just yeah oh my bullet oh shit <laughs> That's why I was using- uh, yeah, that'll be why I was using the sword off. <laughs> yeah, like, this isn't gonna break your fucking arms off the moment you fire it. Yeah, just put it up against your face. That seems totally fine. Hold it with one arm up against your eyes. I see no issue with this. From what I remember, like, using this is pretty decent. Um... Yeah, I mean, it, it seems pretty decent. Just a uh, guess. <laughs> I remember using this a lot just because it kills like fucking everything. Uh, second one. Where is that wired to? What? Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I hit that guy as well. Sure this is going to work. I mean, it's a bloody big bridge. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Well. I can't tell what's the mortar and what's the actual bridge exploding at this point. Oh well, there goes the bridge, I guess. I don't fucking see anything, but... Okay, time for bag moving simulator. Feels like payday all over again. It basically is, except it's not. Except it sort of is. Except there's... So far there hasn't actually been like any awful bag moving. This is the only one so far that's had more than four bags uh, to actually take. And I'm hoping it's just five and no more than that. Because if it's just five, that isn't too bad and like one person could just juggle it if they needed to. Okay, that's three. Okay, that's fine then. Okay, yeah, so it's just five. That's that's not that bad then. Yeah, it feels like they're actually somewhat considerate of how many bags you have to move. And they don't force you to carry it super far either. Like, they, they can force you to carry it a bit, obviously, but not like super far. I can probably fall off this guy. Uh, if this was Fader 2, I would... I don't know. I was gonna say I would place bets on not being able to um not being able to fall off there, but no. That's walled off. It's kinda of funny how this is a, a better World War II game than Cod Vanguard, probably. <laughs> uh that doesn't even feel like a fair comparison. Do you even call it a World War II game? It doesn't like there's nothing about it that's even really World War II other than the fucking setting. It's more like alternate reality World War II than anything else. Which way do I have to throw it down there? Okay, I'm gonna just throw that down. Yeah, this isn't too bad then. Is there an easy way down there that doesn't involve jumping to my death? Mm, okay, there's no invisible walls here. Uh, can I just fall down? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, holy shit, this guy looks cool. It's like a fucking... Old sea captain. I love him. Yeah, again, this wouldn't be too bad with five, uh, four people. Five people, yeah. Uh, with four people, because it would just be one person would have to juggle a bag, and you'd have to move them that far, really. And then everyone else can just kind of cover the person carrying the extra one. And that's technically on the boat. Leave it. It's fine. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad one. Oh, this is different. Well, he just came back to Hitler shouting nine. Uh, his bridge got blown up and his gold got stolen. Wouldn't you be upset too? When do I get the double penetration? Uh, level 15. Okay. I want to get the double penetration unlocked. I haven't found any of the bonus, mi uh, bonus, bonus missions yet either. Oh, it's the castle one. Okay. This one's... I remember liking this one. Yeah, this is a cool one. Because you basically just besieging a castle, which is isn't neat. I can't think of many other games where you could actually make a castle fit within the game, but uh, yeah, this works. I think this one might actually have the best song in the soundtrack as well, but... Activate your war cry! Kill the Nazis! Uh, oh. Okay. I remember those dog tags just fucking everywhere in this one. Yeah, 35. Yeah, the decapitation seems kind of wonky sometimes. Clean decapitation with bullets, except his head is still on. Yeah, the game wasn't taking itself seriously. It's very much war movie turned into game. Kill Nazis. Actually, I might be able to jump up like that. No, that's... flips off. Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this was the one where I tried getting all the dog tags once, uh, once because I, was, I wanted to know what happened. But I couldn't find them all, and it's really fucking hard to find them sometimes. I, I spent maybe like an hour just playing this, trying to find it. Oh shit, that's actually one of the flamethrower guys, fuck. Ah oh, shit, okay, that's actually scary. Is he- okay, he's dead, right. God, it's been so long since I've seen those guys, yeah. Dog. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll give him an honorable death. Don't just don't mention the part where I blew his head off with a shotgun. Oh yeah, this is where there's a a Nazi hat in here. I think the optimization mod has messed with the texture quality because I swear there's like not actually a swastika on that hat. Or like any kind of Nazi. It's just kind of like a, a an almost Nazi symbol, but not quite. Not quite an SS logo, not quite a swastika. It's just kind of, it looks vaguely Nazi and uh, why is there a guy there? Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't mention it. He's, he's just taking a nap in the corner. Uh, Reg, Loosh, blum, 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 blum. Dog tags. Dog tags. Dog tags. Dog tags. Dog tags. Look, I'm losing it. Completely losing it. <laughs> At least, I, where are the dogs? Please. I want to see the dogs. Where are the dogs at? Oh, this is where everything was. Are you serious? Oh, and that's, yeah, that's why the voice line played, because the last one was behind that door. Is there anything? Uh, you get stuff from it, but I don't know exactly. You get better stuff from it, sorry, um, at the end of the mission, but I don't know exactly what it changes, to be honest. Just makes me feel good about collecting them more than anything. <laughs> there we go. So you see, the, the crate gets. You get a better loot crate for collecting the dog dog tags. See, so you get more XP or something. I don't know. Can <laughs> you said loot crate was better? Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. I'm going through as many of them as I can get through uh, before I decide to end this. Solo, not necessarily. It's just nobody that fucking has this game. So. Do the bug! So, like, I, I, I mean, even if I was planning on like hold on even if i was planning on clicking play online i can guarantee there's nobody playing right now oh active duty but oh you get a gold bar for active duty huh do you cards i have no cards cool um oh my god there's somebody playing this fucking game there are three online players right now hold on a sec uh what is it it's steam charts isn't it I need to check this. Average players, uh, peak players. Uh, it's peaks eight players this month. Uh, there were four people playing ten minutes ago. Eleven people within within twenty for the last twenty four hours. The all time peak is one thousand four hundred and ninety two players, and that was the month the game came out. It lost half its players after the first month. Yikes. It's had about 10 active, or oh, 10 uh, peak players uh, every month since August 2019, pretty much. There's been a few months where it's gone to 20, like three or four of them. <laughs> there were 48 players in July 2021. People sometimes play this game, apparently. My question is, hold on, three, pl three online players, obviously this guy's one of them, I'm one of them. Who's the other one? Who's the other who's the other person currently playing this game? I'm I, I'm so curious. So, yeah, there's nobody playing this at all. Like, show up one guy. He's level 14. I mean the, I mean it's not even servers, it's just peer-to-peer, -peer, so they're not even paying for servers. Literally three online players and I'm one of them. This guy's one of them. There's one guy. There's one person unaccounted for right now playing this. Fuck me. I don't actually know what these cards do. Because I haven't actually played the game properly. But he's playing he's playing Recon as well, isn't he? I said he was playing Recon. Yeah, Recon. That's Which one even is that? That's that's a sniper one, yeah. I don't see any point in playing Recon. Because what, you have the lowest health out of all the classes and your skill is... Uh, what, your skill is what? You get aim hacks and everyone does a bit more damage. Maybe the damage boost is significant, but... Like, what? Do you really need the aim hacks? Like... So, Insurgent probably makes the least sense out of all of them. Just because I assume that's just dodge that it gives you. Dodge chance, which is kind of there to begin with. And then increasing the entire the movement speed isn't particularly useful either. Sergeant, yeah. Which one is that? That's fast Americano. Okay. Uh, that's the wrong place. I mean, he's fast. I'll, I'll get like... Look, look at that movement speed. That's fast. Yeah. Speed is high. Uh... 
I don't know why I played this so much, why I played this class so much. Uh, what does that level up to? Team move speed is increased by a larger amount. Far Cry lasts longer. 60% What does that max out at? You will dodge every incoming attack. Okay, I know why I was playing I know why I was playing Insurgent now. Can I can I take back playing assault, please? <laughs> Literally Yeah. Your war cry makes you invincible to Nazis. Uh okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I imagine if you combine that with what you call it as well. Presser. Uh with the in like longer durations, that can get kinda silly, I would assume. Oh, I missed the dynamite before. Yeah. I don't need that one. We're headed for that bunker. Got another shitbird over here. Can I go up here? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That was a nice shot. Holy shit. Uh, I guess I'll start unlocking the, what do you call it, the uh, challenge cards, because I don't think I actually have any of those right now. Why are there so many there? Holy shit. What the fuck? Why am I dead? I had half health. Why did I just die instantly? Yeah, I just fucking blast the sword off in there. It's fine. Oh yeah, I guess comic books did exist at this point. Yeah. Where am I going? Okay. You have to press that early. If you press that late, it just doesn't work. How many? Uh, I've got 50. Oh, I've got like half the dog tags. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you have to like stand near them, don't you? Uh. Well, they have health. Oh. Oh, they have health. Okay. Oh shit, this lasts like quite a long time already. Even with just a few of the like a few of the duration upgrades. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. And that's it. Wow, that really That was a little easier than follow me. Uh I'm sure. I'm sure. Hell yeah, I got the, the big crate. I got a gold bar. Oh yeah, I forget there's, there's this. Oh, this gives you information on all the different enemy types. Uh, so they have they have bigger guns, right? Yeah, so these are the parachute guys, I think. I don't know if I've seen these guys. Snipers, yep. Spotters, yep. Lemon workers. Officers? By inspiring enemy troops and calling in assessed reinforcements. Oh! Do they like- is that why some of the enemies sometimes seem to take more hits than they might otherwise do? Because he increases the health or something? Uh, okay, take that. Uh, this might be the last one I do for tonight, because it's getting kind of light. Uh, can do the others, like, later, and I might do more of this anyway. Huh, okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, I can sneak up to this guy and, and stab him in the bottom. Can I? Nope. Well, this seems. Oh shit, I was about to say, this seems pretty easy so far, but. Planting that dynamite, four to ten. And one more to finish. Wait, is that it? Is it just one tank to blow up? 
Wait, nobody was alerted by that. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> I was about to say nobody was alerted by that, but no, they, they were. Oh, this this should be pretty easy. I can just throw those over there, guy. I shouldn't have shot it that close, probably, but well, oh. if this if this actually is the shot, I might be able to do another mission as well because this one seems kind of really short. If this actually is all it is, is that actually it? Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do one more. <laughs> I'll do one more. That was a really fucking short one. I got like no dog ticks out of that, but that's cool. I got more gold bars from that than from when I found more of them. That's a decent amount of XP from that as well. That's like. Well, it was like 2,500 for the other mission before this, I think. Hunters. Okay, so this is the one with the forest, where you like, have free run to just kind of like go anywhere, pretty much. Camp. Straight ahead. Yeah, so this is one that you can, I think, actually do in stealth, but... Like, all the way through, but I don't know if it's actually doable or not. And he didn't die. Uh, okay. Well, uh, okay. Uh, alright. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's one complete at least. Um, and then there's just one more. Holy shit, I almost said what? Uh, okay. That was fucking terrifying. What? Why did I lose so much health there? Oh, right, I found- oh, okay, that was... Quick. I just need to kill you, and is this one done then? Health, I would like it, thank you. Uh, that's not health. That's a locked sprit. That's health, okay. I meant like dog tags or anything, but uh, I don't know, I still don't really know like if they're really important or not, but because it seems like I get decent stuff no matter what, so I assume this is where enemies spawn from, but holy shit, that's fucking ominous. I'm not relaxed, I'm fucking up. What is back there? I wanna know what's Back in that cave. Where is that guy? There he is. Oh, dog tag. Uh, hello. Did I just see a van drive past as well? Oh, there's the escape. Uh. Okay, that was convenient. Wow, that was <laughs> also kind of short, actually. Um. Oh, that's a different one. I haven't seen him throw the bust yet. Feels like I'm getting gold more often from not collecting the dog tags. Uh, I think that's probably going to be where I'm ending it for tonight, though. Countdown. I definitely only played this one once when it came out, but this one's kind of more memorable than the rest. And then Kelly is... That's the bank one. Yeah, okay. And then after that, there's still the um, operations as well. Uh, oh, I guess you can pause it and view everything from here if you don't want to... <laughs> that. Patrick! <laughs> Patrick! <laughs> I have a question. Filter. Friends only. You know, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask you a question. I'm just gonna click join and that's that. Okay. And then I'm gonna do hunters again. Oh my headphones are breaking. Oh it's daytime this time instead of night. That's cool. Uh, oh, you, you were done. You were literally done. Wait, do I get free XP for this? For just joining and shooting like three people? Oh, you have an icon above your head when the thing is ready. That's actually kind of cool. I guess that makes sense because it's supposed to be a team-based game. I've never actually... I don't think I've ever actually played... Wait, no, I got an achievement. I have achievements for 
playing this with four people, but I don't remember ever doing that, so I must have joined the online game once and then never played it again. Man, I really hope I get, like, full XP for this. That'll be fucking stupid. Hitler. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Uh, that's probably because I have a nickname for you on Steam. Yeah, it'll be because of a nickname. <laughs> I joined at the end! How was I supposed to get any of these? Uh, Sat award, zero. Yeah, no shit. I got two black gold bars for a bit, cool. You're almost there. Yeah, I got full XP for that. I don't know what the level difference bonus is, but... Oh, it goes to five and then it froze. Right, I didn't actually realize that it went to five. 